Hey, how you doing there again, folks? You get, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another robbery. Off my sample platter. <sighs> yes, hey, folks. I'm playing video series. Videos I've been for the while. I work over there, travel food and drink items. I eat stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. Blah. Blah. I got some nasty stuff in my throat from work, so... I might occasionally have to go over there and cough a little bit, clear out the throat and stuff. It's, it's, it's gnar, gnarly stuff, folks. Just trust me. <laughs> if you can avoid it, I would suggest not working with industrial paints and solvents. Not a bad job or anything, but man, oh man, that's some gnarly stuff if you end up breathing it in. But anyway, I'm inside my truck. I'm wearing my grody work clothes. Typically when those two things coincide, that means that I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That's definitely the case today, and this is something that I was specifically looking for. Uh, there's a another review channel, which I've certainly brought up on any number of occasions, called Nathan's Fast Talk Food Reviews. And uh, I definitely recommend his channel and his reviews, especially if mine are maybe a little bit too long-winded. His are very concise, very to the point. They're usually like three to five minutes or so. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I do follow his channel... And occasionally he'll come up with items that I'm not aware of. You know, as much as I try to keep up on things, sometimes I miss stuff. I definitely missed this one. And as soon as I became aware of it through his channel, I didn't watch the review, though, because I was like, all right, I could, you know, that way I can have my own review, not be biased. Boom! It's Arizona. Ooh, let's see. It's Arizona Extra Sweet Tropical Juice Cocktail. It's Rock Pop. Red, white, blue, rocky pop. <clears throat> Can we get like a, a good thing? I don't know, man. Maybe. Uh, this is, uh, something like that. But anyway, <clears throat> so I think I've only ever maybe reviewed one other Arizona thing, if I'm honest. They don't do like a lot of new stuff. You know, like they have a lot of flavors, but uh, it's pretty rare that they bust out something new. I think I did their red tea, I want to say, was the one time when I reviewed something from them. But I like Arizona. I actually drink uh, the uh, Diet Green Tea. That's like one of my go-to drinks. So this, I mean, we're past the 4th of July now, but, you know, sure, why not America? All that good stuff. And for whatever reason, like, at some point in time in the last, like, couple of years, food scientists must have cracked the code how to make things taste like Rocket Pops. Because, I mean... <clears throat> what was it? I think Bang Energy, uh, Fago, Alani New, like almost everything now has come up with a Rocket Pop flavor, and I've reviewed a bunch of them. So Arizona's kicking in, and that's fine. It's Thirsty Thirty, celebrating thirty years. Okay, they weren't just like, ooh, getting thirsty. <laughs> Let's open it up. I was a little bit disappointed. <clears throat> wasn't 99 cents anymore. Wasn't 99 cents anymore. It was a buck 29. The times are changing. I mean, it smells good. It smells like a juice cocktail. But let's see if it tastes like a rocket pop. I'm going to go with mostly no. <laughs> I'm not getting much of a Rocket Pop flavor. I mean, it's kind of a, <clears throat> kind of a fruit punch flavor, honestly. Which I mean, and I've mentioned this before with like other reviews with like Rocket Pop flavored stuff. There's basically one of two ways you can try to make the Rocket Pop flavor. Number one, you can go over there and you can try to create it in such a way where you actually get three distinct flavors. You get like the cherry, the blue raspberry, and then the lemon and or lime, depending on what you go off of. Some have done that and to varying levels of success. Most seem to go with the option where they try to make it taste like what a Rocket Pop tastes like when it's melted and all the flavors are fused together. I think this is more what they're going for with that, because I don't feel like I'm getting, like, three distinct flavors. It just feels like it's 
kind of a juice cocktail sort of fruit punch thing. Just maybe with like a focus more specifically on something vaguely similar to the flavors of Rocket Pop. It's good. I like it, but... <sighs> there's something to it. Like, there's definitely a descending flavor to it. The initial flavor is probably my favorite part of it. It has like a nice... I would say it has like a like a cherry aid kind of flavor to it. Like it has like sort of a cherry, not like a straight cherry flavor, but like a, a cherry cocktail, you know, juice cocktail kind of flavor. So it doesn't really taste like natural cherry or anything like that, but it has like that nice sweetness to it, just a little bit of a bite. I really like that aspect of it because I love cherry, so you know, I'm down with that. I mean, the more I drink it, and maybe it's just me searching for it, but the more I drink it, the more I can see what they're going for with it. There is something to it. The problem, I think, fundamentally, is that I don't think Arizona is the best vehicle to make something taste like a Rocket Pop. Because, I mean, for one, like, you know, if you think about all the Rocket Pop stuff, they've either been sodas or energy drinks. Those are things where they can go over there, they can load them up with all kinds of, you know, <clears throat> flavor chemicals and this, that, and the other thing and stuff to, to try to make the flavor work. And even then, it doesn't always work all that well. With this, I mean, you know, yeah, there's chemicals and stuff. Let's see. It has... Total sugar is 24 grams, so it's got a fair amount of sugar in it. Uh... It also has high fructose corn syrup. It's got pear juice, pineapple juice, orange juice, cherry juice, yeah. Citric acid, mango puree, vegetable juice. So, I mean, what they're trying to do with this is they're trying to... And, I, and you know, this is kind of their bag. But, like, they're, they're trying to sort of replicate certain flavors through the use of other flavors. And that can work, you know, depending on how you blend them together and stuff <clears throat> the problem is is that i just don't think it works that well in this format like as a juice even as a juice blend it's just yeah it just doesn't work like the the rocket pop flavor by itself is just inherently very unnatural <laughs> it, like it, it it doesn't exist anywhere in nature like there's no such thing as a fucking blue raspberry i mean maybe there are but like there's clearly not you know it was just made for because they were like we need to have something be blue blue raspberry um i like it though it's like it's genuinely really tasty and yeah the one thing i'm surprised that they didn't do and obviously i'm not a scientist in arizona making up their flavors I'm surprised that the only thing citrus that they used was orange. I'm surprised they didn't try to go for, like, a lemon or a lime to to kind of give it that little extra bite. Because, like, that's, for me, you know, that's part of the fun of the Rocket Pop. You know, you got the, the sweetness of the cherry. Then you got, you know, a little bit of a tartness of the, um, the blue raspberry. And then you got the nice citrus hit, you know, at the bottom with uh, the lemon or the lime. But I like it. I think it's really tasty. Like, I would consider it basically less a Rocket Pop drink and more an alternative to their Fruit Punch. Which I really like their Fruit Punch, but like this, it's kind of nice as like, as like a secondary option. Because, it, like I said, it's more cherry forward, and I like cherry, so I like that aspect. And I like the juice blend that they came up with for it. So, two questions that have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes, kind of. I would get it again, but not because I think it particularly tastes like a rock and pop. I think it's just tasty. And I think that that's perfectly okay. I think, I mean, I get it. It's like, it's the 30-year celebration and all this stuff. That's cool, you know. But 
I feel like they could have done something else to maybe make it work. And, like, I don't know, just the Rocket Pop thing, it's cool. I like that companies are trying stuff. But I really don't think we're quite there yet. The, I think the best one I've had was still the first one I had, which was Fago, honestly. Even Mountain Dew, uh, you know, their one was like, it was okay, but I didn't really feel like it was that good at replicating the flavor. Um, Arizona, <laughs> Zool love them, they tried, but I just, I don't think it worked quite that well as a Rocket Pop flavor. But as just a juice blend, it's good. As for recommending it to other people, it's entirely dependent upon what you want. If you want a Rocket Pop flavored thing, there are better options. Again, if you can find the Fago, I would suggest that. That, I think, is still probably the best off the top of my head. Um, this is probably the least Rocket Pop flavor thing that I've tried. You know, at least that's trying to proclaim itself to be Rocket Pop flavored anyway. And, yeah, I mean, if you just want a good juice blend drink, I think it works really well for that. It's got, you know, a bit of sugar in it, so just be aware. But, yeah, it tastes good. It just doesn't taste that much like a Rocket Pop. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Money, my tourist, much Spanish rest of your Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly happy 4th of July, belated 4th of July tastic rest of your life. Like, I was thinking about doing a 4th of July special, but then, like, 4th of July kicked around, and I was like, I'm sleepy. And <laughs> I just slept a lot. So, you know, I was just, I was tired, and I didn't, like, have anything planned or anything. So I was just like, I'm just going to lay down and... If anybody calls me up and wants to be like, let's do a barbecue or some shit, I was like, all right, maybe I'll do that. But then nobody called, so I was like, I'm just going to lay down and chill. Just enjoy the ride. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what do you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to do. Trust me, sometimes it is the hardest thing in the world to do. You know, life can be very stressful, very frustrating. It can just, it can kick you in the head, folks. And sometimes it kicks you in the head and you get down, you're going to try to roll and roll with it, and she's just going to keep kicking your head. She's going to keep doing it. I've had it happen to me. I've known plenty of people have had it happen to them. People have had to deal with way worse than I've ever had to deal with, unfortunately. I mean, <laughs> fortunately for me, unfortunately for them. But it is important we run into those situations as much as possible. <sighs> Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to try yourself out some Arizona Thirsty 30 Dropsicle Juice Cocktail thing that I tried this time. Maybe you're going to enjoy it, because it's good. But maybe, for you, maybe your particular sensibilities, you're going to think that it does taste very Rocket Pop flavored. Maybe you're going to go over there and it's going to bring a tear to your eye. Like an eagle's going to fly by and the flag's going to be off in the distance. You're going to be eating a burger or not eating a burger. You know, it depends on what you do. Uh, and, you know, it'll just be that perfect, like the Statue of Liberty. You'll just, like, go over there and wink at you and you'll be like, oh, no! And, you know, at that point in time, I think there might be some hallucinogens within your Arizona tropical. But you just might want to deal with that. I'm just saying. Statue of Liberty shouldn't be winking at you. Anyway, or conversely, uh, you could ignore what I just said because it was rambling nonsense. And uh, instead, you know, I mean, like I said at the time, I'm doing this 4th of July is already over. But, hey, you can always go over there and enjoy grilling and burgers and whatever with folks or whatever. D -d -d Social things. Food. I mean, fireworks, you know, maybe don't with the fireworks, you know. I'm just saying, you know, a lot, you know, pets, and obviously there's people who have issues with this stuff. Let's try to keep that relegated to the the Fourth of July specific kind of, you know, season. You know, maybe Independence Day. Bye.